all right so in today's video uh, what we are going to learn about um, how can we use orchestration item there are different kind of orchestration item which we have talked about so there are five different types of orchestration items milestone manual task auto task call out push event and these all orchestration items are included with some conditions which evaluates the you know attributes of fields of the product or order entity depending on what we wanted to sequence the task but we'll go again and we'll, we'll define it that how it's going to work out uh, so primarily we are going to focus on orchestration item in this video um, as I told there are five um, orchestration items milestone is it something which is automatically executes when all the prerequisite items are getting completed Manual task is something you wanted to uh, put in an approval of an order or uh, kind of technical order review in particular uh, case. So we'll talk about that one. Then call out and push events we are going to discuss in another video. And auto task is something uh, you wanted to do some task processing uh, like in uh, out of the box functionality we do do we do the assetization as an auto task for us. So. Uh, we will be doing some demo exercise we what we are going to do we are going to put one condition we are taking one product and its technical decomposition part as well and how we are going to create one master plan and its item and its scoping scenarios and dependency and we'll create some some kind of uh, uh, example uh, for everyone so let's go again and put an example um so this is our scenario so we have one of the commercial product with us and commercial product uh, consists of uh, as family simple choice plan this is taken from uh, my, the the org uh, provided by sample org provided by the salesforce so it consists of uh, hierarchy uh, product with unlimited talk 4g light light data plan and mobile hotspot and netflix so what we are going to do in right hand right hand side we have technical product decomposition happened with two products one is mobile services CFS so let's say this is the provisioning system and one is more technical product where we are sending the external OTT vendor service so, so what what right now we are going to do uh, for an exa example in the scenario there are only two systems one is provisioning and one is we, are, we have to send some data to external vendor so in this case is Netflix you might be having another OTT systems which might be included in your offer so if this kind of scenario is coming to you so we need to understand that what are the different things what are the different systems call out is happening what are the diff different system involvement are there then you go and create one design orchestration item so this is a design time review which we need to understand that what are the different things you have to do once this order is getting placed and it is going to decompose and there are multiple fulfillment requests are getting generated so what we have done is a simpler part that you will be having one master orchestration item definition it consists the four items start milestone manual task assetization and end task so this will be one plan definition another will be based on this provisioning system call out and another call out for ott system now these are all interdependent so we will be understanding that how item definitions are getting dependent to each other so let's go to Or, so we are right now as an uh, orchestration plan definition I have created one end-to-end -end demo plan orchestration item definition so we will be creating few item definition one is the milestone so what we will do we'll say start milestone this is the one thing and we'll just save it There's one more and my soul. Then as we know if you come here manual task and assetization. So so we'll come here, we'll do manual task next. Task. 
now if you see right now manual task consists of manual queues so what we can do we can create a new queue and that queue have demo zero one now queue can be different type it's attribute based queue you can do round robin of thing you have least loaded so this is something you need to understand that how this queue is getting loaded and how this queue is assigning uh, this task to different uh, uh, sales advisor so that they can be able to take the task and go ahead so this is manual queue manual task what we are going to do this will be auto task for us as a ties now so we have so what we are going to do this is um xomo to task so let's see how this is going to provide us or not xomo to task hello let's leave it here we need to find so this is the vanilla yeah this is the one item implementation so we'll provide it and what it does it's create to um, this is automated this is part of the package uh, it is it is calling this uh, item implementation which creates its own business logic to create asset assets um, rather service assets for that particular order item now this is what we have done it but this is not being interlinked to each other correct so this is start manual task asset is an end order now manual task has to depend once this start will be milestone now if suppose if i'll create one order for this particular thing will it be calling this end to end of a plan no because we don't know this plan does not know that it has to call against this mobile service cfs or this one against which it should call so let's go and create one dip scenario here what we'll do so we'll scenario we'll do mobile service product so what we are going to do cfs now which now we are going to add scenario right now we're not touching anything modify scenario so we'll save it so this is what let's do it okay now what we'll do manual task is dependent so we'll go to manual task we'll go here we'll say dependency start milestone so, and i've done definition which is item definition which we have later start milestone and it is global dependency on all right so this is dependency manual task will be depend on this once that will be done it will be created now we have done this dependency we go back again sorry and milestone related and so if you see these all blocks these all blocks are done now what we will do for this example we will again link as a ties to manual task so we go to again here plan definition and uh, we'll link it for this scenario but later on in the exercise we will remove this thing so what will happen my stone to assetize so 
we are removing this thing. Um, no, sorry. This is manual task. Manual task. So save it. Um, let's see. Alright. But we have done it. Manual task starts. So now this will look like this it will not have this we'll come again and we'll create another and we'll do the dependencies so let's go to account what we will do we'll create a new order Zero zero 009 today save it family close it and decompose it so let's see as per this it should create like this we'll go and check it out um, decomposition should be done all right we did something here we go for orchestration item so let's see you see orchestration will look like this now this is done because it is a milestone milestone always completed this is ready status so we can go see these all are interconnected to each other so we'll go here and uh, we'll view the record now this is assigned to this queue now so we'll go to this queue sorry this will assign to this manual queue so we'll go to this manual queue this is we could have done kind of one of the omni script we could have assigned here for this manual task which will navigate to that omni script so let's see now we'll select this one we'll pick up <laughs> all right this is there's nothing as it is so what we'll do we'll come Completed. as soon as this will be completed we will just refresh it this is completed now this is an auto task it will also get completed because of it's having own its business logic you see that entire of your orchestration plan will be completed so now this is only one end-to-end -end demo plan which we have tried to here created this one this is done and now in next exercise what we'll do we will create one call out here and we'll do like this now initially what we'll do we'll create these as a manual task manual task then we will convert one call out we'll go for the call out concept and then we'll try to complete it so what what we have tried to cover that how this is how do, do we create an end-to-end master plan how do we uh, create items their scenarios their dependency and their scoping all right